Right, now that our conky is auto started from the last video, I want to talk to you about tweak some more. There is this GNOME tweak tool, which is we've touched already some of the elements we've changed here. The, the, the hibiscus and all kind of themes you can choose. Let's take uh, this one, a red one. Let's go to change some things. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show that there are more things than just changing themes in here. I'm actually looking for uh, frolly somewhere, something frolly. Let me check it out. Whatever, I don't know. And then uh, that's it. So this is one of the possibilities to change elements and then you have a possible new look. Lots of icons, lots of themes and we can change them any way we want. Next up, desktop. Desktop, I recommend the following. If you say no icons, then you must be aware that you can't put folders on here. Your desktop is becoming a dead desktop. You can't work on it. You can't put a file there. You can't put a, you can't put a folder there. It's dead, dead. It's okay if you want that, but if you say like this, then you can work on your system, on your desktop. Okay, so that's the difference. That's one. And two, of course, if you want all these icons up there, then you can have those as well. I guess you'll have to order them a little bit, keep aligned, organize desktop by name. Voila. Nice. Or not nice. I don't want them. The background is now this image. It's uh, actually uh, decided by variety here. We can zoom on the image or we can do something else. It might be interesting to do and to see what happens if you work with these choices. And so I guess it was zoom. And the lock screen when we lock our system, what happens then? And then the extensions. We have touched some of the extensions already, but I'm going to skip it because it's really a separate video. Fonts. We can change fonts. Standard. This is Cantarell Bold. Standard in Arch Merch. We've cho chosen for Noto Sans Regular. So if you're missing that one and say, I want that back, that's this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, a little bit bigger is it maybe okay. I'm not sure how much bigger. You just decide. So, Noto sounds you know, regular, like so. You see already that the font has been applied and it's a little bit more spacious. That sense, sorry, Noto sense. I'm going to change everything so you see how it might look. And I have to scroll all the way up. This time, here is select. Mono space is nice, and if you see a difference, that you say, okay, this it looks better to me, then you choose one of these three, and standard grayscale, non, yes, or this one. Don't see a difference between these two, but you choose and eventually scaling factor. Something else, keyboard and mouse. Have not changed anything here, but you could change things here. Acceleration, pointer location, middle click, paste, click method, default. Like I said, didn't change anything. This is not a laptop, but you can set it here. We did go into this one to have, well, not, well, we looked at it, but starting ConkyZen is not done with this button here. We have to do some workarounds efforts to get it here. Top bar is the application menu. You can open up, other, I mean not open, but you can click it open and close it again. Application menu, so this is open. Battery percentage, well yeah, without laptop it's going to be difficult. The clock is here, but now it's even more, like so. To like it like this, so I'm going to keep it. The seconds if you want to have it and the week numbers we do not see i thought no they were not showing up here maybe somewhere else i don't know if we can see it somewhere else but they were not showing the windows size never, didn't change anything but doesn't mean 
we can not look at it again. Everything was okay, so double click. I, I assume always on any desktop when I double click here that it toggles maximize, and so that's good. Never use the middle click, and the secondary is the menu, so it's this one. That's good. You can do other things. Title bar buttons. You can set up some more buttons here. If you don't like this way of right mouse click and say, no, I want this here, then you say these buttons here. So, depends what you want. To the left, to the right. And there you go. Almost done. Workspaces. We can create them more if you want to. Dynamic workspaces, static workspaces. Say I want four workspaces. Uh, and that's it. Minus four and so on. Um, workspaces on primary display only and span the displays, which I can do right now on VirtualBox. So this is um, all the settings except the extension settings. So take a look at the variety of uh, what, what you can set in here because you can really change your system with this uh, tweak tool. All right, enjoy.